uh, now I'm going to talk about digital transformation. So digital transformation encompasses the use of digital technology to enable major business improvement, such as enhancing customer experience. It is agreed, however, that for any organization to digitally transform, that transformation has to be organization-wide, be understood by everyone in the organization, involve everyone in the organization, be cultural and not forced and have no ended. So what is actually suggests that for digital transformations, we need to make sure that it is not forced so that everybody kind of understand the importance of it and it develops a culture that everybody actually knows that digital transformation is important and they wanted to adopt it. So key components of digital transformations, there are five key components and I'll be describing each of them uh, in the next few slides. So the big data and then reverse marketing, mobile application, internet of things and the automation of business process. Those are very important. So, for example, for the big data, this is the collection of wealth of data uh, from and about everything internal and external to the organizations. Is interpretation to help make business run more efficiently, improve customer service. It facilitates ability to track customer, their communication across every channel, which can help measure, manage the customer experience, the sum of all experience a customer has with the business. In turn, this can improve customer service level enhance customer retention and improve uh, uh, over customer lifetime value and be used to uh, deliver personalized services. So the big data, what does it do is that uh, we collect a lot of data about our customers and we have more insights as a result of big data because we collect a lot of insight from about each of these customer. It helps us to take different type of marketing strategy because we understand the customer better and it helps us to actually provide more personalized service to the customer because of the uh, data availability. We can know that which customer wants what and then we can actually uh, personalize the service or the product for those customers. So big data is really useful for uh, digital transformations. Now we have, so the reverse marketing, what does it mean that this is associated to the concept of helping the buyer uh, to buy? This is where organizations and brands are increasingly distrusted by customers so that the customer has become the marketer. That is, the roles are reversed. So because they no longer trust marketing message, customer trust other customer more. And this can be by way of sim simple conversation on platform such as Facebook, posting reviews on platforms such as TripAdvisor or retail uh, retailer website. So what, what does it mean that through reverse marketing is that when um, previously, things were a bit different when there was no social media, when there was no review sites. What we were doing at the time that the employee was actually having the relationship with the customer because your communication was from the employee of your organization to the customer. And employee and customer relationship was very important because your employee was actually managing the relationships. But with the new technology like social media and all these review sites we have, now customer don't want to trust the uh, company's messages anymore. They more trust other customers. So before, if you wanted to buy anything, you may want to check the reviews of other customers. So the trust towards other customers is more. So the dimension of uh, that relationships change from employee to customer relationship to customer to customer relationship, that is actually happening. So that's reverse marketing. You are actually the customers are managing the relationships and maintaining the relationship with other customer. And because of all these technologies and digital transformation, these are very important. Now, mobile applications. So we have now come full circle in that mobile is such an accepted mode of accessing the internet. More Google search are now performed on mobile devices than from PCs. So when a server from uh, Deloitte asks smart phone use uh, owner, Typically, how long is the interval between waking up and looking at your phone for the first time? So the results suggested that addiction to your smartphone is endemic uh, in the UK. So you see here, the 10 percent start immediately start using the phone. Then within five minutes, 33. Within 15 minutes, 52 percent. Within 30 minutes, we have 69 percent. Within an hour, 86 within two and three hours, 93, and longer than three hours, we have 97. So the level of addiction is quite uh, high 
nowadays which is not very good for us because we are kind of hooked into those devices but at the same time the marketers actually knows that we all are using mobile apps and it's easy to actually get to your customer through mobile apps because everybody is using for mobile phone now even previously for google search we were using a lot of google search using desktop but now we are more doing the Google search from the mobile phone. So those kind of things is uh, very important because you know that how to access to your customer because they are using actually mobile apps quite a lot. Then internet of things. Essentially this involves computer talking to each other uh, to perform tasks without intervention from humans. Internet connected fridge that order more milk via shopping app when you are running low is a popular example so if you are running low in your milk the in, in internet connected fridge can actually order the milk for you uh, through wire, wearable devices that are used to monitor health that's also another example wellness or athletic performance are better illustrations of internet of things in reality so many of you probably use also a smartwatch so those are the example of internet of things then automation of business process so perhaps the most long-standing aspect of organizations transforming to computerized world the digital revolution is the use of technology to automate process example include robot building cars and computer software doing job that once required an office full of clerk so um, automation is very important and one of the example of automation is this uh, royal caribbean cruise limited they are having reduced the onboarding process from 1.5 hours to 10 minutes with the use of their smart check-in apps, which enable guests to complete the necessary governmental security, customs, and immigration forms at home. Uh, so only scan of a barcode or passports are required. So even if you are flying, you can know that you can fill up your details over the online when you are checking in over the online. And what you have to do, uh, you have to just scan the barcode and uh, so that they quickly get the uh, information so the royal caribbean cruise limited is one of the example that uh, it could be very much uh, dif uh, it could be difficult for each customer waiting for 1.5 hours and then other customer wait for the other customer to finish so it's just uh, very lengthy with this kind of automations of business process it helps the business to really save the time and improve the service so we can see is that the automation of the business process is very important now i'll show you an example of uh, digital transformation so that you understand the benefits of it we explain the business world of tomorrow this is emma personally she's well connected in the digital world her smartphone guarantees her constant web access and keeps her in touch with her friends she uses dozens of handy apps to take care of everything when she's on the go. And there are thousands of new possibilities appearing every day. But why is Emma's company any different? True, she did introduce some technological tools to simplify administrative tasks, but that was many years ago. And IT has come a long way since. By now, those systems are practically ancient. When she tries to retrieve data, it can take ages. And communication with partners or customers is very roundabout. No one is ever quite on the same page. Enough is enough. It's high time for a digital transformation in the business world. Otherwise, Emma and many other companies might fall behind in the market as small startups and even suppliers and manufacturers become serious competitors. In the internet age, the value chain has been completely reorganized. Consumers and producers are now in direct contact. That's why Emma's company, its corporate IT systems, and all of its communications are overdue for an urgent upgrade. The Internet links everyone in a global network. Emma can now identify the best partner companies quickly and collaborate with them seamlessly. The data flows over broadband technology and can be accessed anywhere. This lets Emma's company seize groundbreaking opportunities. She can implement interfaces to reach customers through brand new channels that target them directly. 
Plus, customized product extensions lead to fresh business models that are just as versatile as today's mobile society. In the digital world, IT is not only a tool anymore, it's the central seed for every company's growth. Emma is ready to go full speed ahead into the digital transformation. In her race against her competitors, 